In 2006, I traveled to Croatia with my nephew and his family. We were trying to find the village in which my grandfather was born and if there was any remaining relatives within the area. My grandfather came to the United States about 1900, but unfortunately the families lost contact about 1950. Through the help of my Croatian friends, the Osvek, especially their daughter Nikolina, and the local couple, Jura and Lusa Kucinic, uh, we not only discovered the village with uh, homes 100 to 200 years old, but also were put in contact with a living cousin I have, Ivan Horvat, who lives in adjoining Slovenia. Next summer, hopefully, there will be a family reunion, which I eagerly look forward to. Now, I hope you will please enjoy the photos of the trip and also of the village, birthplace of my grandfather. It was a little bit of a problem getting to Zagreb, but finally made it. And it was well worth it when you stepped out of that hotel and saw everything about, even from in the rooms, the uh, courtyards, everything. It was gorgeous. Outside front it was a park where every day uh, something new was going on. Uh, all these activities for kids, for adults, trams, and so forth. This is the uh, main square of Zagreb. Uh, trams come in here, there's events every day, uh, totally populated. As you go up the hill, the famous cathedral and uh, old monastery. A typical park. shops leading to the central market. These were taken about six o'clock in the morning. Everything comes in fresh and people buy fresh every day. The statue of the lady of the market. Somebody brings their flowers every day. It's a uh, people city, outdoor cafes, uh, everybody walks even though cars go down a few places. It's meant for people. Back to the park, and down one side of it is Embassy Road, the archaeological museum, the train station. Notice how everything is clean, no trash. It's just gorgeous. This is up in Gorni Grata, the upper town. Every day they shoot a cannon off to uh, remind him of war. There's two churches up here. A typical street, typical housing. Uh, the Prince's Palace, St. Mark's Church. The Parliament Building. St. George, the patron saint and back down to the city. And then it was off to the coast, to wonderful Dubrovnik. Uh, if you've never been to the coast, you have to go. There's nothing like it. Uh, typical small streets called Cantoons. It's a fortified city, uh, the famous fountain make a wish, and uh, downtown Main Street to Brodnik. Everything's like a painting, it's surreal, uh, it just kind of blows your mind, you have to wink your eyes to uh, see if it's really real, and it is. Windy. Like I said, it'll take you an hour and a half to walk these walls. Uh, <laughs> it's something else. 
The guns that used to uh, protect the city. The spuming ocean, the, the skies. I mean, it's, uh, it's just unbelievable. Yeah, look at that. Uh, we spent the day here, and the next day uh, we got up and uh, hustled to a ferry. We went to three islands, but we spent basically the day on one called Lopet. Uh, the difference of the coast is not sandy, it's rocky, but the water is blue. The old man at sea. Uh, and the skies, the skies always change. Uh, you know, you just sit there in amazement. Another thing that, that distinguishes the Croatian coast is that all of the buildings are out of stone. There's no stucco, it's stone. You know, uh, very classical. We hiked over the mountain and to a cove on the other side and uh, swam a little, ate, and relaxed. That's what you do at the coast. And then it was on to Kunich, my grandfather's village. Uh, of course, along the way, we have to stop and get a, a, our Biela Cava, and then stepping back in time. Uh, as I said, these buildings go from uh, 70 to 300 years old. At times there was 150 people uh, running around here working like crazy. Again, it's lush, pristine, uh, uh, nothing is wasted, a uh, real trip. Uh, makes you wonder. And the hunky was home. Hmm. And uh, after you get used to it, you kind of uh, start strutting your stuff a little bit because you say, I'm home. Something else. Can you imagine uh, living like this? <laughs> And I guess, uh, you know, I did. I had many dreams about it later. Uh, then we went to Koprenica, uh, the home of my friends, the Osbeck. First place we stopped, naturally. It's a 300-year-old brewery. <laughs> uh, Croatian's towns are extremely clean. They're pedestrian-oriented. A lot of bicycles, no cars. People are friendly. No pharmacy. The sculpture garden in front of the city museum. And then we took a side trip to uh, the Nye Museum. It's in a town where every, not everyone, almost everyone is an artist. They just don't claim they are. Not only do they do carvings, but they do glass paintings and uh, kind of primitive paintings. And when you're there, you become a piece of the art. <laughs> And then we went to the residence of Ivica Nelka. Uh, Ivica said he wanted to have a French home. What's amazing 
I doesn't have a power lawnmower or edgers or anything. This is all done by hand and manually. Who needs a gardener? Uh, and Milka, great cook. What you get from her comes fresh out of that garden. This is a nearby historical park. Oh, Croatia was. And the old man fence leaning in. Bakasava and Nicolina and the whole family. Good things come to an end. So it's back to Zagreb. Get a few gifts. Get ready for reality. Look at the fun in the park. Wink at a few honeys. And feel good about what you were fortunate to experience. I would like to thank the Ozbek for all the help that they gave us on this trip. I would also like to thank your analysts for uh, their consideration in a wonderful nature. And I am looking forward to uh, meeting my cousin Ivan. I can't think of a better way to spend the summer vacation and hopefully never allow Carozza Grey